Okay, so before I actually uh, review this Dell, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to show you something. Uh, Windows got updated. So, uh, yeah, wait for it, it will boot. Now, as you can see, this screen is so goddamn glossy. Seriously, why? But, besides that, Windows got updated. Yeah, automatic repair and yeah. Yeah, it's not working. I've tried everything, yeah, all is lost. So there you have it, Windows. Now after I uh, repair this Windows, so I'll actually delete and reinstall and create an image and whatnot, I will be making a review of this video. But this is, by the way, this is a laptop with 16 gigs of RAM. Fucking expensive. Windows got updated. And yeah, this is the premium experience you get with Windows. So, hello YouTube, my name is Vlad, and what I have in front of me is this beast. And this truly is a beast. This is a Dell XPS. I'm not quite sure what the model is, uh, I will be leaving it in the description. So, if you are watching this video, you are probably interested in this laptop. So, let's take a look at the laptop itself. So, on the left side we have an SD card slot, a USB 3.0, and uh, Apple MacBook Pro style uh, LED indicator of the battery's charge. Now I'm not quite sure why they removed this thing in Apple, they're idiots. Uh, this is actually quite useful. And uh, what we have in here is a Kensington lock. On the rear there is actually nothing and on the left side there is a power connector, USB 3.0, HDMI, Thunderbolt or USB-C and uh, well, a headphones slash microphone connector. This laptop is so glossy, this is unbearable. Even when the screen is on, you can actually see yourself. So that is something I quite dislike. Keyboard is actually quite comfortable, and I don't know whether you can hear it or not, but take a look at this. Listen to this. It's not that loud, it's not benty, and this machine is awesome. It has 32 GB of DDR4 memory. There are two slots of uh, 8 gigs, and believe it or not, this is actually a touch screen. And I was quite puzzled where the camera is, and I don't know whether you can see it or not, there is nothing in here. The camera is this little dot in here. So yeah, before I actually turn it on, I will be disassembling it just to show you whether it is upgradable or not. So when you look at inside we have this massive battery which truly is massive. We have M.2 SSD which is Toshiba. This is the uh, wireless LAN card. There are two massive uh, heat sinks and there is a bit of dust and there are two actually slots that are for uh, DDR4 memory. So basically, I guess you can upgrade memory and upgrade upgrade the hard drive. However, this is 500 gigabytes, so I, I don't think that you will be upgrading it that soon because one terabyte hard drives are, uh, well, expensive. Okay, so first of all, let's measure the boot time. And uh, I can say that the black color on this laptop is beautiful. It truly is. So, about 24 seconds. I guess the boot time on every Windows, well, Windows 10 is, I would say, the same. So, uh, we have a fingerprint sensor, which is actually quite hidden. Now, let me show you. When you look at the keyboard, it almost is uh, invisible, but there you have it. This is a fingerprint sensor. So, the next thing we have, this drive, which is uh, Toshiba, which is model KX G50. ZNV 512 gigabytes, I suppose. So the display adapter is actually, it has an Intel HD graphics 630, which is embedded in the CPU, obviously, and uh, NVIDIA GTX 1050. I don't think that this is the greatest GPU, but for a laptop it definitely is a good GPU. So we have a killer wireless. I did not hear about this uh, brand since I believe I read that it's Intel, it's probably Intel. So it has NA and AC standards, uh, 1535 wireless network adapter. And basically that is it, there is no LAN uh, connector whatsoever. So in my opinion that's a minus. It has a TPM module which is 2.0 and it is enabled in BIOS. And basically that is it, there is nothing much more to show. So let's connect to the internet and let's uh, run a crystal disk mark.
Okay, das ist ein Okay, so I think the results speak for themselves. This is brutal. Now one thing I can actually uh, tell you is that this LCD is probably the clearest LCD I have seen in a while. Seriously. So as you can see I've zoomed in and this is this is just beautiful. Seriously, the, uh, the color on this laptop is brilliant. And the resolution of this is actually huge. It is 3840 by 2160. So this is this is indeed crazy. And just to show you the brightness can actually be quite brighter so you almost cannot see me. <laughs> awesome. So the next thing I will be starting is actually going to YouTube and starting my no copyright sounds music test just to see how loud this is, but this is a premium laptop and uh, I don't even want to know what the price of this laptop is it's something I'll probably most likely never buy okay This is insanely loud. So all I can say about this laptop is this is uh, awesome. It is insanely loud. The screen, the bezels of the screen are beautiful. As you see, the camera is... Well, I'm not quite sure how good the camera is in that position. You'll probably have to push it a bit forward in order to uh, well to get a better shot or well look at, or look at the uh, bottom but definitely uh, this is this is insane well anyway this was just a quick look at this beautiful Dell and uh, yeah there is there is nothing that I can actually say about it I, it, it doesn't have any fault for all I care that's all that I can actually say about this laptop. It's beautiful. The design is beautiful. It's modern. It's fast. Insanely fast. So just let me show you the CPU. So CPU and as you see there are four cores with hyper threading and it is at 3.76 GHz at the moment. So it's obviously working at turbo speed. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, please ask, leave the comments down below. If you like this video, click like. If you didn't, well, you know what to do. You can always subscribe. And until the next time, cheers.